Hello all, the practitioner here again. I got a couple of interesting comments which I didn't really uh, go into great detail on in my last two response videos to my to the Renigger jokes uh, video. The thing is that one of the things which has um, I've been getting a bit lately, um, or at least what one of the things which was asked of me there, who do you think you are, bitch? Or like you know who do you think you are to speak my name or what have you? Or who do you you know like. Because of the fact that I got that a few times, I'm going to address another particular fallacy on here. But before I do that, I'm going to simply say a little bit about myself. I think it's about time that, again, I've repeated this all in many of my other videos before, about who I am and what I am, and that's, you know, that's me. I have Asperger's Syndrome. Um, I'm a former world traveler of four and a half years. I am a Bachelor of Science student. I am an ex-political science student. I changed majors and changed universities when I had a disagreement with a particular professor. Long story. Um, I'm a, an amateur magician. Um, you know, I've taken two critical thinking classes. I have a, uh, you know, I've got a great deal of extraneous knowledge kicking around up here which I just simply try to apply. Does that mean I'm an expert or automatically that my uh, that my word is automatically better than someone else's or that I have some sort of authority to be able to say what I do? No more than anybody else. I'm just simply a guy who uses the brain that he's evolved that has that is intricate to the human race that is you know this uh, enhanced brain that is what makes us uniquely human. I'm just simply attempting to use it and use the knowledge that um, I've been that I've gained from various different areas uh, in part of my life um, to the best of my ability to uh, extrapolate, uh, use logic, and attempt to uh, from observations attempt to form conclusions about the world I live in. Um, I assume everyone else does this, um, at least to the best of my knowledge. And so, needless to say, when I've been granted, needless to say, when I've learned the uh, tools of logic and the techniques thereof, um, if I spot illogic or apparent illogic, I'm going to at least comment on what appears to be illogic and ask at the very least for clarification. Um, it, it's it's what I do as a critically thinking mind, as as an inquiring mind. I mean, since isn't the human race isn't that the one of the uh, aspects of what makes us human? Um, isn't that the aspect of democracy? Um, if you will. Um, I mean, who cares about what my authority is or what do they say about like who the fuck do I think I am? This is YouTube. I am simply attempting to use a forum for communication um, to exercise my right for freedom of speech to attempt to comment on what appears to be... Um, if someone's going to put a claim out there that black people are inherently lazy or something like that. I'm going to rebuttal it if I see some flaws in their logic or if I see little to no evidence or logic for it. I'm going to call them on it and ask for proof. I'm just simp again, uh, I'm just simply voicing my own rebuttal, if you will, um, or what I see to be apparent flaws in the logic, and I'd like clarification or those holes covered over or evidence uh, to support claims. Uh, as Carl Sagan said, um, or as a great many um, scientists and, uh, and, and philosophers and, and other people have said over time, just simple, honestly inquiring people have said, extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. Well, I would stretch that that maybe not everything's an extraordinary claim, but every claim requires some degree of logic or proof behind it, um, you know, proof and logic. I mean, if there weren't, we'd have to, if we took everything at face value, I could tell you that I have a pink elephant sitting on my shoulder right now, but you don't see it. So what if I told you it was invisible? Well, then you, uh, if you took it at face value, if I told you that there was an invisible pink elephant sitting on my shoulder, you would have to take that. But of course, if I waved it, if I waved my hand over my shoulder and you didn't see, uh, and you didn't hear the scream of the pink elephant being knocked off, or um, or didn't you know like the or or didn't see my hand bash up against something, but just saw it you know go against my neck. Then you'd have to ask, or maybe it's on this shoulder, but it's still doing the same thing here. You'd have to ask, okay, well, did the pink elephant get knocked off? And, well, then I'd have to uh, further expand the claim uh, that, um, 
and then all of a sudden, oh, it was see-through or passing through, or or um, that uh, or or the, oh that I knocked it off, but that it was so soft that it that it hit and uh, it it's it's mute, so that it can't make any noise. But would you be able to believe it um, if I didn't give you any evidence? Well, that's when you'd have to base it on my credibility. Uh, if we, again, if you assume, assuming that we took things at face value without logic. Now, again, I'm using an extreme example here. I'm attempting to show the whole idea of why extraordinary claims require that you at least require some degree of evidence. Now, again, uh, when it comes to uh, for skeptics who want to, you know, have a field day with this and say, well, what about my whole thing about where I say that certain parasitic phenomena are more likely than not, and what have you? I've already clarified this. I've said that there is enough experimental evidence that I think that there is something worth further researching. There's enough anomalies out there that have been, uh, you know, where the other variables have been controlled for, that there is something worth at least attempting to replicate. To quote Ray Hyman, meta-analyses should generate, uh, particularly meta-analysis uh, for the, Gan say, for the auto gans field, should generate new hypotheses which should be tested uh, uh, in replications by other independent institutions. So again, I've already dealt with that, but on this particular point. Um, again, you'd have to work on my credibility or my authority or what have you. Well, there's a fallacy which is known as appeal to authority. This is that somebody in authority figure that, oh, they're an authority figure so they must know what they're talking about. Well, maybe they're not necessarily an authority in that area. And even if they are an authority in that area, you should still double check everything they're saying. Right? Or, or, at least, or at least try to keep an eye out what they're, on what they're saying. You know, if, if they say something and then they provide references for it, Go check up one or two of those references. See if those references are actually any good. You know, see if the information they quote is accurate. I've provided plenty of sources before when I quoted various data. Um, the time when I did that whole uh, list of stuff on critical thinking fallacies, I provided a couple of sources, including my Thinking for Yourself uh, critical thinking textbook from English class. So, you know, the whole point of being of being human is that we are inquiring about our world and the whole point of the freedom of speech and the whole point of democracy is that we are just free inquiring minds we are free to inquire about other people's opinions to ask questions i mean that's the whole point of being a democracy right is that we're supposed to vote intelligently that we're supposed to be able to lend our vote to a myriad of other voices to influence policy or to influence you know the overall view but we're not supposed to automatically get manipulated and jump on a large bandwagon that was the whole point of democracy, was to avoid manipulation by higher powers or avoid being uh, taken over, you know, or being controlled. Like that, wasn't that the whole point of what the Founding Fathers and what the Canadian um, governments and, what all, and, all, and even the British Parliament were trying to do, was that they were trying to expand the voices of people, you know, so this way there were multi more multiple voices all trying to get in on the same issue, less on, you know, that's the whole point of this. So, you know, trying to say, who the hell do you think you are to comment on my opinion? Well, I could say the exact same thing. Who the hell are you to ad hominem attack me? I'm not saying that. You have your right to do that. I will still say that it's illogical, but you have your right to do it. I, I would suggest that, uh, you know, I would suggest that you try to inform, uh, re, um, re-close your opinion, uh, you know, uh, that you try to reform your opinion and try to get further logic in your actual statements. And I might suggest that there might be something wrong with the particular viewpoint you're holding if you can't, ha if there's no logic or, so or, or, or evidence to back it up, or uh, that you have to resort to illogic in order to support your ideas, that you might want to reconsider it. But I won't necessarily knock you off YouTube uh, or try to block your comments for saying stuff like that. You know, unless, of course, you actually try deliberately try to harm someone else, you know, at which point then I will try to do whatever, everything in my power to restrain, prevent you from actually physically harming someone else. But beyond that, I mean, you know, it's your right to freedom of speech, too. I will, you know, I'll comment on it, but, you know, it's the bottom line. I mean, who am I? Who, you know, who do I think I am? Who do I think I am, like, to say Shane like I know the person? I'm not saying Shane like I know you. I'm saying Shane because that's your username. Uh, this is directed at Shane, the guy who made all that, who made that comment on my Renegar Jokes video. Um, I mean, uh... Who am I to to uh, who do I think I am to comment and say that that sort of stuff is offensive or that it's or that it's uh, based on certain critical thinking fallacies? I'm just a guy to say that I, in my own personal opinion, I find that promotion of those ideas is is offensive. That that is my own personal opinion uh, because of the fact that it's trying to hurt other people, and that um or that and also that it's based on critical thinking fallacies. I'm I'm also entitled to state my own conclusions. That's my point. It's not about appeal to authority or who do I think I am. It's about freedom of speech.